Ladies. You like the ladies? Yeah, I like ladies. <laughs> Best dads get promoted to grandpa. You like Miley Cyrus? Is that her name? You cry man some uh, fighting you white people big mess. White people are making a yeah. big mess? And then we come back to the car and it's been clamped. The husband so, is a driver and he travels a lot but unfortunately he has kicked the bucket. I mean he died. He died. <laughs> you got Louis Vuitton? So here I am in the public toilet just on the side of the road, look at it. Low price are five cities. The price keeps going up. <laughs> The government is not good because the way the government handles us, uh, we are suffering. So you're working 13 hours a day, a day just to get one or two meals? Yeah. This is for eating? Yes, yes. Is it nice? Yes, this is for wow. legs. If anybody robs or if anybody's a thief, he'll get killed. Are you head shopping? Yeah, I want to buy the head. What's the price for a head? How much? You are suffering for Ghana too. Bad, very beautiful. What kind of metals are they looking for? Yeah, liars. Liars. Philip Oke, Jacobo. Seniors. Johan Leke, Matthew. Simon Oke, Tadio. iPhone. Yes, Uja, Nazareth. You got Lily, man, let me. Yeah. So welcome to Tamale, one of the biggest cities in Ghana and the capital of the northern region. It's completely different landscape, people and majority Muslim here. See how life compares compared to down in Accra where we've been, the capital city and the coast there, to up here in the north. You can definitely see a big, big difference. We flew here, about an hour's flight. Let's uh, go meet the people. We basically pulled over just then, we hopped out and the driver went to grab some food and then we come back to the car and it's been clamped and then a huge fight started but that's amazing efficiency. We pulled over for like two minutes and the car had been clamped in that short amount of time. Okay, so we're here with the butcher Abraham, right? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. This one is cow. Yeah, cow. Uh, this one is yeah, you know, goat. Goat. Yeah, you know, this one is sheep. 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 Uh -huh. Is life here easy or hard? The economy is easy. We are just managing it. The economy is no good. No good. The price keeps going up. The price. Like the price. Right. Thank you, sir. So there's many different languages in Ghana uh, and you know the, the national language is English so when you come here you're coming with somebody from the south like in Accra and you come up here they'll communicate in English. Quite a lot of people here speak English up here in the north as well like they do in the south. This time is very difficult. Okay. The economy is very difficult. Right? Yes. What's the problem? Uh, the problem is look Food stuff is 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 problem. Well, before to, to go to the farm, it's a problem. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. How to 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 farm? It's a problem. The fertilizer is not there. Too much, too expensive. Yes. Something I've noticed here is how many people ride bicycles, and there's these big mechanic shops with these old parts that they're painting up and recycling, making nice new bikes out of them. Beautiful fresh green paint job here. We are used to corn. Corn. Yes, corn. Uh huh. Uh huh. And rice. Uh huh. Now this time it's too high. It's too high. So you can't afford to buy it. If you want to buy, you buy few. So you have to eat less now. Yes. Really. Yes. And what needs to happen to change that? Our leaders to 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 do something about it. So you want the government to come and help with supplies and the equipment and things. Yes. To make yes. life easier. Yes. We don't know whether whether this year will survive or will survive. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm telling you. Is that bad? Yes. Okay. It's very, very, very bad. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. I got all the nuts and bolts here for the bikes. And the whole workshop here. These are all ball bearings, so they sell all different kinds of ball bearings. Have you traveled to Accra before? Every week I used to go to Kumasi. I, Kumasi. Get, I, get, I get car. I buy pies. Right. To come to my workshop. What's the difference between five years ago and now in the economy? Uh, it's a change. It's yeah. a change. Uh, proper change. And this is all because of petrol, is that right? The petrol, both the petrol and the diesel. If only the fuel comes down, we will hope that if the fuel big down, 
So you want Maybe the government Everton. to bring the price uh, down? down. Right. Everything will change again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. So those guys that we were just talking to, uh, the mechanics, they were saying that most people are just, uh, a lot of people at least, are sitting around because there's just no opportunities and jobs here. And so they, they used to be mechanics, but now they're just sitting and just passing the time. And I asked them, has that led to an increase in crime? And they told me, if anybody robs or if anybody's a thief, he'll get killed. So there's this kind of like communal policing going on here. The government is not good because the way the government handles us, uh, we are suffering. The way the, the petrol is going, our customers, they, they, they're lost, they don't want to come to market. Today, how many customers have you had? Because uh, we are loading our current to five. How many trips? So 25, I get uh, maybe four trips. Or four five trips. trips, so like 20 people? 20 people that I think. Okay, today. is that enough to buy food? In the morning I buy uh, rice. Rice? And rice and beans. Rice and beans? One food. Okay, a day? A day, they, I can take one or two. two. One or two meals a day? Yeah, a day. So you're working like 13 hours a day? A day. Just to get one or two meals? Yeah. Wow, that's hard, eh? No, it's hard, it's very hard. You know, people actually leave here and they head down to Accra to find better opportunities. And you've seen in Accra when we were there in Abu Bloshi, which is one of the main markets where they break down old computers, electronics, phones, either strip the copper from them or they sell the, the metals. And you saw how hard life was down there and the things that people are exposing themselves to. Burning rubber to access metals and just, you know, shortening their life by being exposed to all these toxins. So if they're willing to put themselves through that, and this is where they're coming from, then that kind of shows the situation and how bad it is. Good morning from Tamale. Stayed in this pink hotel behind me here last night. Quite nice on the outskirts, but we're about to drive back into the city. Hopefully it gives you a good grasp of the city here of Tamale, the northern capital of Ghana. Let's go into the city. public toilet just on the side of the road look at it quite handy you'll just see these little shacks uh, on top of the curbs here and then I guess you know the sewage goes into the drain there are you head shopping yeah I want to buy the head because it, it, Yusuf. it's expensive in Accra so it's much cheaper up north yeah because this is where the most of the cow meat in Ghana this is where they come from nice to meet you okay are you are you uh, this is cow head. That's a head? Yes. This is the cow head. Legs. Oh, legs. Tail. 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 Oh, tail. All right, that's yes. the tail. That's the tail. This is for eating? Yes, yes. Is it nice? Yes. Sit down. Tasty? And this is wow. the legs. The legs. What's the price for a head? How much? The price. Yeah. You can get some 200 cities. 200 cities for a head? Yes, for the head. How many heads do you sell a day? We are selling uh, there, there are many. Many? How yes. many? 10, 20, 30. Life in Ghana is good. Yes, Ghana is good. <laughs> okay, thanks brother. Okay. Good luck. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. El Hassan, you were just saying that uh, when you were in school you had pen pals pen from pals Canada and America? Canada, America. Okay. Yeah, Germany, even Spain. Okay. We have many friends, but we lost them. Oh, you lost them? Yeah, because of, I don't find out in Facebook. Uh, so we lost contact with them. Right. But I need to get them. You need back. to find them, right? You need to find them. Maybe back. if they're watching the video, what was their name? Oh, we have Maria. 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 From Germany. From Germany. Hilda from USA. Hilda from, from USA. I have Hannah. Hannah. From Spain. All ladies. Ladies. You like the ladies? Yeah, I like ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. So you eh? say you, you are from? New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. From the south. It's a nice place. Yeah. yeah. Is, is this business a good business? Yeah, we do small, small. Small, small. Yeah, we do small, small. Right. So, you know, in Ghana here, many things are very difficult. Economy. Economy is difficult. And sometimes we need to, like, we are not going to school anymore. Not going so to school. This is our business, how we are doing it. Right. Yeah, to get something small. Everybody that I have met in Ghana says the same thing as you. Yeah. They say problem, problem. Yeah, yeah, very hard. Yeah. Very hard. Economy yeah. very hard. Ukraine and some are fighting the things no come goose are Ukraine? Yeah. 
we, we hear that we say here. The war. Yeah. Russia. So who know they come, we know they get by them. Um, the good. They so cause, cause so right what now. you're saying, the, the war in Ukraine with Russia is, stop, Maybe, is stopping goods yeah, arriving yeah, here yeah, and then yeah. that pushes YouTube. the prices up. Yeah. You white people, big mess like my brothers. White people are making yeah. a big mess? Yesterday, two days. I won market. Nothing Maybe selling. 30 cities that I get. 30 cities in two days. Two days. Really? Seriously. So how do you eat? We go. Maybe if you don't have money, mm -hmm. come go and borrow your friend. Okay. Ten CD mm -hmm. tomorrow if you get. Yeah, ten, we'll ten, ten back. So Mohammed gives Abdullah mm -hmm. some money and uh, Abdullah gives uh, Mohammed some money. Maybe tomorrow if I get some right. money, I'll yeah. you some help. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, right. it's beautiful though and that you're helping each other. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, that one day. Assalamu alaikum. You good? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, my name is Mohammed. 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 Yes. Abdullah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. All right. <laughs> well, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm just coming to experience Tamale. Right. Okay. And meet the local people. Okay. Understand life. Okay. How is life? Okay, very, very good. Is, is life, is, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it's good. Oh, thank you, Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Right. This is your house? Yeah. No. Huh? Well, right. Thank you, sir. No, don't remove your sandals. No, I don't want to disrespect your house. <laughs> oh, wow, you got Louis Vuitton? Yeah. Oh, this is your oh, jewelry? Yeah. So they do like that. So you thread it. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the price for one bracelet that you make? Right now that we have they are different. Okay. Low price are five cities. Medium twenty cities. Do you guys have children? I yeah. have two children. Two kids. But he traveled. They traveled? Yeah. How old are they? One is four years. And they're traveling? Brothers, six years. They're traveling? Travel. Yeah, they are traveling. Alone. Uh, yeah. Two and six. And go and see my mommy and come back. Okay. In the city? Yeah. Okay. So they're just for the day? Yeah. And they come back and stay yeah. in your house? Yeah. So in five years from now, will be better or worse? Right now, we are, we are not better. Okay. It's not, it's not going well. Mm. Thank so. you, Mohammed and mm. Abdul. Yes, Very nice sir. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for... I forgot. Nick. Nick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nick. Yeah, nice to meet you. You. Do you like these people? Hi. All of them are something like that. Okay. So the politicians are okay. Hi. They're okay. All of them are like that. Right. This man will say, I can't make like this. He come to forget. Okay. So they say they'll promise something and then next minute it's gone. It's gone. Right. Okay. Like this government. Right. Something like that. Oh, well, thank you, Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to take a quick second out and say a thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring this video. As you've seen in my videos, rampant inflation is a challenging issue that pretty much everybody from all backgrounds is currently facing. Naturally, you'll want to shield your money from inflation, but you also want it working for you. Usually investing in the right stocks and bonds could make it easier to save up. But if you've followed the stock market in the last few years, you've seen how quickly things can change. The professionals agree. It may be time to change the way we think about investing. It may be time to consider adding real assets to your portfolio that can retain value or even gain value in times of crisis. According to Forbes, there's one asset in particular to look out for in 2023, fine art. The last time inflation was this high between 1973 and 1981, only three assets outpaced the inflation rate. One of those three, contemporary art appreciated an average of 13.5% according to the MW All Art Index. With Masterworks, you can invest in fine art by legends like Picasso and Monet without spending millions of dollars on an entire painting. Their last sales fetched 13.9%, 17.8% and 21.5%. Just look at their track record. Over 550,000 people have signed up so far and with inflation still high, the list is growing. But my subscribers can get priority access using the link in the description. So if you want to shield your money from inflation, I highly recommend checking that out and a huge thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring this video.
Okay, so we've come into this house here and we've met Aisha. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so the husband is a driver and, and he travels a lot, but unfortunately he has kicked the bucket. I mean he died. He died. Now the daughter has to come back to the mother. Selling like different kinds of clothes. Small, small, small pants in Korea. Right. The baby. Baby's yeah. underwear. Yeah, underwear. What's the price for the Adidas? Three cities. This is three three cities. Yeah. Oh, it's a good price. <laughs> yeah. How many items a day do you sell? Single mm. So she has been roaming since morning till now. It's only two cigarettes that they've bought. And how much is that? The three and one and the uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five. She okay. sold the three in one set. Only one set. For how much? For thirty-five cents. <laughs> So she's the made whole, 35, 35 all, cents and she's been walking around all morning. Hey, hey, five o'clock. So the moment Start at five in the morning. Yeah. yeah so oh. the moment they're, 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 they're until mops, now. Until now, she's back home to not to rest, but just to bath and refresh, and she'll go back again. Shower. Shower. Yeah, shower. Okay. Just with the bucket. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Do you have children? So she has two kids, they are all in school. They're in school and they live in this room? So she mostly sleeps on the floor whilst the children occupy the mattress. Are you happy with how the country is being run? They say these days things are very bad and she's not able to take care of the kids. Patience is the key. And gradually, gradually, God will be able to help everything. Michael's gone and made a purchase. He bought a cow's head, right? Yeah, I got it for 180 cities. 180 cities. And then you come in here and then you send money through your phone to yeah. his number. No, yeah, you can, I could have sent the money from here to his number. But he is not having the registered number for mobile wallets. So I have to come here, cash out, and give him cash. So you send these people the money and then they give you cash? Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yes, and you're going to, so when we go on the plane later, you're going to take the cow's head? Yeah, they're going to cut it into pieces. I tie it in a box. You can keep it in your bag or in a box, any of them. I think that'll make my bag smell great. Yes, yeah, smells very good. Thank you. Bye. So this is ready to eat? Yes, yes. Okay. Good. It's good. 80. 30. So you give me one coin. Okay. Right. Thank you. She can keep the change. Keep it. Thank you. Go up and down there. What's in the bag? Corn. What's the price for one bag? No one bag of price. 440. And are you doing this business or are you doing something else? I'll jump down one second. Are you are you doing this? Are you working here? No, this is our car. Oh, uh, you're you're driving yeah. the truck. Where did you drive from today? Oh, from Tema. Uh, Tema. So you are going to Kaswa. Okay. How many hours? It depend on how you work. On the right. Road. And how old are you? I'm Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And how long have you been doing this job? It's not too long. Like a, a few years or? Oh no, it's not. Maybe a week. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks guys. Bye. So the interesting thing about here in Tamale and the north of Ghana, it's very similar to Kano in northern Nigeria, which uh, if you saw my Nigeria series, you would recognize this looks very similar. Even the language is the same in some parts. The people, the religion, the landscape, Ghana and Nigeria have a pretty good relationship. They've had similar histories in parts. People in both countries are, are great, really charismatic, outgoing people. Uh, many people speak English in both countries, which is really nice to come and interact with the people here. 
people they're selling cooking oil here. You've got to be careful because some, some places I've just seen also sell petrol in the same bottle. So you've got to make sure that you don't put petrol in your pan when you're cooking. So it says, best dads pr get promoted to grandpa. Nula. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, snap, snap, snap. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, come on. Looks good. <laughs> How do I pronounce your name again? Zefau. Zefau? Yes. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is your boy? Yes. Ah, he's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and so you're making all kinds of clothes here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this a good business? Um, no. No, not good? Yeah. Why? The materials is hard. So Expensive. What, yes. Things are getting harder yes. every day. Yes. As a mother, what is mm. life like here in the north? Ah, oh, hmm, too hot. Hot. Mm. Yeah, it's like 36 <laughs> degrees right now. Eh? It's so hot. It was lovely You're to welcome. meet you. I appreciate your time. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Just such lovely people here. It's incredible, honestly. Now we're coming to check on Michael's cow head because they've been smoking it while we've been walking around. It should be ready for pickup now. How's it going? Is it ready? Yeah. Which one? This one or that one? This one. That's, that's Michael's? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I've met a, a local man, El Hassan, right? You mentioned that you'd actually seen some of my videos before? Yes, I have. I have seen your video where you travel to Somalia, Somalia. Uh, Pakistan. You really want to travel, right? You want to go and see other cultures? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that would be fun. That would be fun, you know. Right. Experiencing the um, other cultures. Why do you want to see other cultures? Because life is not really stagnant, you know. It's okay. not at a, at, at a stationary position. Keep yeah. the momentum going. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Right, and what if you could go to one country, what would it be? Can exactly. you give me like top five? US, UK, Venezuela, North Korea. I'm, I'm really curious about right. that country. I want to see how life is over there. Pleasure meeting you. Yes, Thank uh, you very much for your time. This is yours? Yeah, that's my meat. So he's chopped the head into pieces. Yeah, that's it. Cow meat. You like this song? I like the graphics. The songs I don't understand. You like Miley Cyrus? Is that her name? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's my first time knowing her name. I like only the body, I don't know the name. And with Michael's box of cow head stored in the overhead locker, we were on the plane back to the capital city, Accra, in time for me to get a connecting flight out of Ghana. Overall, my time in Ghana was a whole heap of fun. Of course, a lot of the people are facing economic hardship, but in comparison to my last trips, it was a lot more lighthearted, even if I did almost get stabbed on day one. So thank you to everybody in Ghana for making this trip so memorable. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you watching. This year has been without a doubt the most crazy of my life. Ukraine, Haiti, and South Sudan on their own were all crazy trips but back to back truly something else this year on the channel thanks to you guys watching and opening your hearts we're able to build an orphanage in Nigeria in Makoko slum the largest slum in Nigeria. We also raised enough money to keep that orphanage running for years to come. In Ukraine, we were able to raise money to go towards the frontline workers and emergency relief. In Haiti, in the most dangerous neighborhood in the world, we are able to raise enough money to keep a local soup kitchen for children running for the foreseeable future. And of course, in South Sudan, we've raised over 400,000 US dollars to go towards life-saving emergency 
emergency food packets for malnourished children. So a huge thank you to everybody and your input into the channel this year. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a lot at times. There's been struggles, but overall, it's just a true honor to be in the position that I'm in today. I couldn't be here without you. That's genuine. So I'll see you next year for more adventures. It's gonna take a bit of time for myself, <laughs> for my mental state, but stay tuned to the channel and my Instagram. And a huge thanks to my Patreons as well for constantly supporting me through these travels. It means a lot. Happy New Year. And once again, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.